the butterfly effect. A butterfly flapping its wings and causing a tornado. An analogy that Lawrence used to make the concept of chaos in a dynamic system understandable to non-scientific community. Ever since, the butterfly effect has become a metaphor for the existence of seemingly insignificant moments that alter history, creates long chains of events unfold, and shapes destinies. Meaning that we believe that we can pinpoint the circumstances or events that caused certain outcomes. The term has become so popular that it has turned in such a powerful mental model influencing our psychological thinking. One can find endless examples right now, in books, movies, or in everyday situations. I'm gonna give you a couple of examples. The first one, a car driver tosses a lit cigarette from the moving car window. The nearly spent cigarette lands on some dried leaves just before the cigarette stops burning. There is nearly no fire left, but a leaf catches fire at that moment. Then the fire spreads to nearly brush. Once the fire grows, slowly at first, it begins growing exponentially fueled by the wind, and the brush fire becomes a forest fire. Here's a second example. A man was working in a company where he was mistreated by his manager. And after months of being disrespected, he decided to quit. Before doing so, he spoke about it with other colleagues. And the result was that the other colleagues also quit. When those people found themselves unemployed, they decided to start their own business. After some time and a lot of hard work, their business became a very successful one to the extent that they started competing with the company they used to work for. Under the pressure of the fierce competition of the old company, this company decided to declare bankruptcy. This type of interpretation from the general public gives an idea of what society expects from science that we can give specific answers to the world we live in. That we imagine the butterfly effect will explain things in everyday life reveals the desire of society to validate ideas through science. It speaks to our larger ex expectation that the world should be comprehensible, that everything happens for a reason, and that we can pinpoint all those reasons, however small they may be. We like to believe that small things can make a big difference. We want to attach specific costs to an event. But at the same time, we refuse to believe. We can't accept the randomness of the world. But actually, nature itself defies this expectation. It is a probability, not certain cause and effect, that detects how we scientists understand many systems. We get Lorentz inside completely backwards. The larger meaning of the butterfly effect it is not that we can really track the connections between cause and effect, that we can't. It is extremely hard to estimate such things with certainty. The reality is that small things in a complex system may have or not an effect for a massive one, and it is virtually impossible to know which will turn out to be the case. So we cannot tell for sure if one event was the cause of another or if they are interconnected at all but we decide to believe the opposite. Why? Because 
of the idea that we can give specific answers about the world we live in because of our desire of predicting the future. What Lawrence taught us is that the world is radically unpredictable. He theorized that weather prediction are inaccurate because knowing the precise starting condition is impossible. And a, a tiny change can throw off the results. The butterfly effect is a sensitive dependence on initial conditions, right? This is what we have been taught. So we can't measure everything infinitely accurate when small imprecisions matter greatly. For example, let us take one of the simplest dynamic systems with chaotic solutions, a double rod pendulum, which is highly sensitive on the initial conditions. This means that a tiny change in the starting position will result in a completely different motion of the pendulum. For example, if you place various pendulums located a tiny slightly different starting position, a few seconds later what will happen is that each of them will follow a completely different path displaying the chaotic nature of the system. Another chaotic system is actually the Lorentz strange attractor itself, which makes me wonder, perhaps he came up with the name of the butterfly effect by looking at this shape. The fact that we cannot be certain that some situations or experiences actually led or caused others does not mean that we cannot embrace them and work for a desired outcome. For instance, who could have thought that a girl from a small village of La Guajira, Colombia, like me, will be standing here right now delivering you this message? I cannot tell you for sure what set of events or conditions led me to this precise moment, but I can assure you that I have worked hard to be who I am, a scientist, researcher, balancing the roles of being a mom, a wife, a family woman, to be working in what I have been passionate about since I am a little girl. To do science and to use science to the service of humanity. Currently, what I am doing is that I provide guidance in the field of sustainability of emerging technologies. More particularly, in the field of the technologies to net zero carbon emissions that enables this energy transition and supporting the technology transfer from lab to fab. Meaning that I can give you a set of conditions, scenarios that I will evaluate in order to give an idea of what technolo technological parameters will be the best to ensure that a product will be environmentally friendly. That this product, once it's in the market, it's going to be easily recyclable, that can be reused, that can use less critical raw materials, that will ensure a sustainable deployment of this product once it's in the market. Why I'm telling you all this? Because right now, we citizens of the world are called to take actions against global warming. From my own experience, I have learned that the best way to do this is working together, finding synergies between different actors, researchers, engineers, investors, policy makers, community itself. In the end, we all have the same goal, right? To fight against global warming. There are pathways to achieve this goal. My work assists the decision-making process by defining which one will be more likely to have the least environmental impact. We do not know for sure how impactful these decisions will be. Neither 
when are we going to start seeing the effects of those decisions? But the message here is clear. We have to act now. Let me tell you this. The future, it's not settled. And we just don't have to wait for it to happen. So I encourage you to put on your wings and make the effect of the butterfly that you want, whichever that might be.